Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a metronome so you can create a click track using a track preset, a micro drum sampler, and a step clip that you can recall at any point. Now, Waveform has a really nice built-in click capability and you get to it by clicking on the little metronome. You can turn it on or off and there's great features in the click track options in the menu that allow you to control it, even controlling the emphasis or even changing the click sounds. But there are times when it's nice to just have the click track on its own track. And also if you want to render the click track into audio, it's great to be able to do that, especially if you're exporting or sending it out for somebody else to maybe overdub part of your song. I'm gonna show you the setup for this, but to get started, we need the click sound. And to do that, I'm going to just sample a metronome. Since I don't have a physical metronome handy, I'm just gonna use a metronome app. And the metronome app is on my phone, which I've patched into my mixer. So I'm gonna set up the channel where the phone is connected and do a simple recording of this click. So I've enabled recording there. Now over on the actual app, there's three different click sounds to do the different levels of emphasis. And I'll play the standard way it works. And there's also a higher pitched emphasis that you can alternatively use. So I want to model that capability in our click track preset. I actually only need one example of each kind of click. So I'm going to just set it where it clicks through each level. So I don't want to do loop recording. So I'm going to make sure my loop is turned off. I'll hit L. Now my loop is cleared. I'll rewind to the beginning. I'm going to hit record. And just like that, I am done. Let's expand this out. The level's a little bit low, but let's just listen to what we've got. So I'm going to just increase the gain on this a little bit. I'm gonna open the controls panel and just do it from there. Just turn up the gain a little bit. And we only need just about this part of it. So next, I'm gonna start building our track. I'm going to drag in a micro drum sampler from the Waveform plugins. Micro drum sampler. So here is our default micro drum sampler. I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to drag this onto there. So we're going to drag using this file icon and I'll just drop it on the first pad here. So I want a pad for each one of these kinds of clicks. So I'm just gonna repeat that. I'll just drag it to the next one and to the next one. So back to the first one, I've got the whole loop. I don't need that. I'm just going to zoom in using these. These set the in and out range for which part of the sample I wanna play. So on micro drum sampler, you use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, and you use these loop start and end points to define the actual part that you want to play. So now that I've zeroed in on the high click, I've got that sound. I'm going to rename it to high click. I'm also going to change the drum icon to none, and the track color is fine. Now on the next one, I want this second one here, which is my medium click. So I'll bring these in to define that. Then I'm going to zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel and we'll set that there. I'll click this to set the drum icon to none. And we can also double click here and say medium click. And our last one. We'll just take this part of the sample here. That's our third and low level click sound. Typically this is the sound you'd use for the beats that aren't the downbeat. If you want to get super accurate about the placement of this, 
can bring that right down to that level. We'll test it. I'll double click here to rename it. And this will be low click. Change the drum icon to none. And I think we're set up. Now, before we move on, important point here is to save this as a preset. So we'll do save as, we'll call it metronome click to make it more specific. It's tagged sampler, but I'm going to add micro drum sampler. And I'll also put my initials here. I always put my initials on all of the presets that I personally save so I can tell them apart from the ones that are built in and click OK. It says play one or more notes to record a preset preview. Use preview. All right, so this track that we use to do our sampling, I don't necessarily need, so I'm just going to push it to the end of my project, turn the input off. So now track one, we're going to model as our track preset. I'm going to start by changing the track name. So I click on the track name and then down in the controls panel, I'm going to name it simply click track. Now we're going to add our step clip. Before we do that, I'm going to turn snap back on and set my in and out marker over just one bar. That way, when I pull in the step clip, it will be one bar long. We add the step clip by dragging the clip object, drag it to the first bar, and then choose insert new step clip. Now this is a really cool thing about the micro drum sampler. Only the pads that have sounds will actually show up on your step clip. So we perfectly got our channels labeled with the high, medium, and the low click sounds. Now we could start programming right away, but there's one more thing I want to change. We don't need 16 steps. We need four steps for a metronome click. So click on the footer of the step clip. We want to change our step length to just one beat, simply one beat. And then we want to change the number of steps to four. Now we can program in our click by just clicking on these cells. If I set the loop over this and play back, and we have a beautiful click track sound. Now, if we wanted, we could go with the higher sound emphasis, or we could alternate. Sounds kind of like a clock. Now, the next thing we can do is repeat this over the course of what might be an entire song. You do that by just dragging out the repeats by dragging from the triangle handle in the upper corner and just drag this out for however long you think a typical song is going to be. I want this to go out about four minutes long for my track preset. So I'm going to click on the timeline with the right click and just change it to show seconds and milliseconds. And then we'll just drag this until we've got about four minutes, maybe four or five minutes. There, I'm at the four minute mark. I'll change the track color, click on the track header. Now our click tracks all set up. I'm gonna reset the loop by pressing A. Don't really need the loop on. Let's give it a try. All right, everything is working great. Now we're going to save this as a track preset. So on the track header, right click, and then down here where it says save preset, I'm going to save the whole track. And then the track, it uses the track name, so that looks all good. I'm going to keep track, add my tag for my initials, and we should be good to go. So I'll save that. Now, when we want to use this, open the browser on the search tab, type click track, and here's my track preset. Now I just drag this into my edit over a blank track, and then it says insert track from preset, the first option, and there is a, another copy of my click track. So I don't really need that, so I'll delete that track now. What if you want to convert your click track to audio? 
Well, that's actually really simple too because you can just drag from the file icon and drag this to another track. It quickly renders an audio clip and then you can drag it here. Drag to cursor position. And now you see the click track. If you don't want to see this appearing in stereo, go down to the properties and turn off one of the channels. You can also boost the gain a little bit if you want to see it louder. Let's solo that one and listen to our audio version of the click track. Great. That's working great. It gives you a nice visual reference if you want to program or trigger a drum beat or if you want to render out some stems and have somebody else work on this in a different DAW, you're all set. I'll delete this because there's one more question is, well, this works fine if you're in 4-4 time. What if the time signature is different? There is an easy way around that by just creating a variation on the step clip. So first, I'll go up to the tempo track and click on my time signature. I'm going to change it to 3-4 time. Let me also change this back to bars and beats so we can see how the bars and beats are working. It starts to drift away from the bar so the downbeat isn't right. So the way we do this is to click on the footer and then click New Pattern. Now for the New Pattern, click on the footer we're going to change the beat to one beat, but change the number of steps to three, like this. Now we, again, program in our metronome. And so when we're in three, four time, just change to pattern two. And let's go back to four, four time. Change back to pattern one. And using the combinations of beats and the number of steps, you can program in any time signature variations that you would like. So now that we have another version of this track that includes the 3-4 version, I'm going to save another preset for the whole track. And I'll just call this 2. OK. So now I have a version of it with patterns for 4-4 four, four time or 3-4 time. So that's a way to combine track presets, the micro drum sampler, along with a step clip to create a really cool click track using your own metronome samples. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.